Hey guys, this is me, Jason Gregory, coming at you again from the UK, from Team Visionaries Golden. And just a quick video that I'm making for you today, just to address um, a question that a couple of people have had, and that is, is it effective to use K-Booster to build your carrot bar business? So guys, in this video, I'm going to be looking at it in the context of how to use um, K-Booster effectively. So obviously, we know what K-Booster is. K-Booster is um, a, a system that Carrot Bars have put together incorporating a lead capture page, some follow-up emails, and a place where you can kind of you can monitor who's watched the video, how long they've been on the video, if they've watched the full video or not, so you can prioritize who you're following up with. So conceptually, yes, it's a good funnel to use um, in order to um, know who to, who to follow up with and, and know what your prospects are doing. But is it an initial um, first point of call in terms of the landing page and, and, and using it that way? From my perspective, um, and I'm coming specifically from an attraction marketing point of view, I'm, I think KBooster is good to use but I do not think it is um, good to use as a first um, sort of like gateway when you're marketing, not when you're prospecting, not when you're talking to somebody belly to belly, but I'm talking about when you're marketing. In other words, you're hoping somebody will come onto your landing page, put their details in because you haven't spoken to them yet to find out more about Carrot Bar. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is this. The whole point of attraction marketing is that you're building your audience because of you, not because of the company that you're with, not because of the product or service that you're promoting, but because of you. So if you're building your audience, then the first point of call has to be you, yeah? Or has to be some kind of value that you're giving so that the audience are now buying into you. So the, prob the problem I see with K-Booster is when you're marketing and you're using the, the K-Booster landing page, the moment they, like, they jump onto the K-Booster landing page, they already know it's carrot bar yeah they know it's carrot bar and like as with any um, type of internet browsing that people will do they'll put in a Google search and they may come across some negative reviews of carrot bar and form an opinion even before they've seen the information or maybe they'll come across a more savvy marketer than you and end up and end up opting into their funnel and signing up under them and so that's why I don't think that K Booster, the K Booster landing page, should I say, is the best thing to, to initially send your prospects to. Yeah, I, I, I think you should send your prospects to a generic uh, landing page which doesn't uh, mention Carrot Bar, yeah, but it does um, pique a person's interest. And then as part of the follow up process and the information sharing, then yes, you can use K Booster to add weight. To what you're saying and and i'll show you what i mean in a minute because i'm going to jump onto my desktop and i'm going to show you exactly how i use k booster yeah and um, so what i would say is yes as a tool definitely use k booster but use it in the right context to get the mo to get the most amount of results yeah remember you are the asset yeah carrot bar as a company and and their gold and all the rest of it is the platform that we're using for to help people to to get freedom and to understand about saving in gold and all the good things that we know about carrot bar but you have to understand that when it comes to list building that you have to build a list because of you not because of carrot bar but because of you because when people know like and trust you they are more open to your message and especially online you have to remember there's so many messages online that are, that people are saying that their product is the best their company is the best so if all you're saying is carrot bars is the best opportunity and all the rest of it if that's your message then you're really just adding to the noise and you're not really saying anything different to any other person in any any different company so why would somebody follow you so you have to lead with value you have to you have to identify a problem bring a solution to that problem through the value that you're giving and then your message is going to be a lot more uh, succinct and a lot more palatable 
for the people that join in your list. Remember, people join and people follow and people buy from people that they know, they like and they trust. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump over onto my desktop and I'm gonna show you what I mean in terms of how I use KBooster in the funnel that I personally use. So hopefully this will be helpful. So I'm gonna join you over on my desktop now. So bear with me a second. Okay guys, so I'm back at my desk and as promised, I'm gonna share with you my processes in terms of how I use the K Booster in terms of my sales funnel and in terms of my approach to my prospects. So this is what I'm gonna share with you. So first of all, as I said to you before, I don't, I don't think it is a smart move to send somebody straight, to, uh, straight away to the K Booster landing page. Why? Because it says carrot bars on there and you're showing your hand too early. And what's gonna happen is people are gonna Google carrot bar, they're gonna get the some positive reviews, some negative reviews, and they're gonna form an opinion based on that, yeah? The other danger is they may go to somebody else's funnel, sign up in their funnel and become their down online instead of instead of yours simply because a person's a bit more savvy at marketing than you so you don't want to show your hand too early and so what I'm going to show with you is, is my generic landing page that I use and then I'm going to show you how I incorporate K booster within that as well so this is the this is the first landing page that I send people to yeah and so as you can see from this landing page it doesn't say anything about carrot bar on there. It literally just says, discover the first ever cryptocurrency backed by a real, a real gold reserve. Do not miss this train. Remember how much the early adopters of Bitcoin may secure your family's future. No mention about carrot bar, all about the, um, the opportunity within gold and cryptocurrency. And so once somebody fills in these details, their details on this form, and I don't even ask them for their telephone number at this point, I just ask them for their name and their email address. So it's a very minimum resistance here, yeah? And so they go on to here. Once they put their name and their email address in there, they've now opted into my list. Now over the next seven days, I'm gonna be sending them additional information to add weight to why they should be saving in gold rather than keeping their money in fiat currency. I'm gonna give them information like who controls the money. They're gonna learn about the Federal Reserve Bank and the banking system and all this kind of stuff. They're gonna learn about how gold has held its value all these years with practical examples through the content that I'm gonna be sending them over the next um, seven days. Now remember, it takes multiple exposures before somebody's ready to make a decision. So if you do not have a way of following up with your prospects and you just give them an initial exposure, then you're always starting from ground zero all the time. But if you can keep yourself in front of that person, that person not only is gonna buy into the concept, but they're also gonna buy into you. They're gonna get a sense that they know, like, and trust you because they've had that much interaction with you, even if it's only over email. And so it's important for you to have these follow-up message, message sequences in place, yeah? Now, once they put their name and their email address in there, they get taken to my sales page. Now, this is my sales page. So as you can see, again, now because they're on my list, I can now mention Carrot Bar to them because they're actually on my list. I can follow up with them. So now they know it's Carrot Bar. They, they, there's a button here that they can, if they wanted to, they could sign up for their free customer account or free affiliate account. This is like a quick overview uh, of the opportunity, a quick like eight minute overview of the opportunity, just enough to pique their interest. They hit, this is gonna tell them what they're gonna get from watching the full presentation. And over here is the full presentation to the left. And over there is a video about Harold Sykes to the right so they can get to know the CEO, yeah? Down here, I'm, I'm, I'm encouraging them to lock in their position straight away because I share with them the importance of why, why it is important to do that because of the compensation plan and how we're set up with the dual system. Once you're locked in, you can actually benefit from activity that is happening to you offline. So even while they're doing their due diligence, I will still encourage them to lock their position in. Even if they do that and they never do anything, they haven't lost anything by doing that, but if they do do that and they're locked in and they decide to do the business, then activity that has been happening above them can drop into their group and they can already have an organization <laughs> uh, as soon as they start and hit the ground running. So it's important to let them know to lock their position in. And that's what this does here. As they continue to scroll down, in, if they want to know more information, now 
they're going to get to my K booster. Yeah, because now this is like a double opt in now. If they want more corporate side, they're going here, they're going to get the corporate presentation. They're also going to get the corporate follow up emails in addition to the emails that I'm sending. So I want them to buy into me as an individual, but also to buy into Carrot Bars as a company. And that's why I incorporate K booster into my funnel. Yeah, as a secondary opt-in so that I'm branding myself as well as having the company there as well and that's what it's about that's what attraction marketing is all about guys it's about getting people to buy into you it's about building your list if you haven't got a list you haven't got a business the money is in the list and that's what attraction marketing is all about yeah and so um, after that if they went back to the, the sales page if they if they wanted to read the gold standard magazine uh, PDF they can click here and then finally, again, a button again where they can sign up as a free customer or a free affiliate. And so, guys, the reasoning behind this, I'm hoping you're getting the reasoning behind this whole thing now in terms of the attraction marketing method, is because if you're always leading with the company and telling everybody about how brilliant Carrot Bars is, how brilliant the business opportunity is, you're not doing anything different to what 97% of the people online are doing. So you have to differentiate yourself um, when you're when you're trying to build it online and you do that by adding value so if you want to know more about how, how that strategy works really and get some more in-depth training on that like I said in my previous video I've got a free Facebook page a free Facebook um, group sorry where I go into attraction marketing fundamentals and so click on the link in the description and get access to that group like I said, it's a free group spam free group there's no spam in there if anybody even spams they're out of there yeah so this is a spam free group um, nobody's gonna pitch you their business we're all there to learn lead generation and get more people into our business so if you want to get access to that to that private group click on the link in the description to get access to that group yeah also don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel because I am going to be putting more of these um, videos up here these types of videos up here because the strategies that I'm actually talking about they, they transcend Claret Bar whatever a person is building online they could apply these strategies and, and build it yeah and so again so, so some of you may be in multiple opportunities Claret Bars or something else you can use these strategies for whatever opportunity that you're in so hopefully this makes sense to you I look forward to seeing you in the private group and look out for the next video that I'm gonna that I'm going to be making as well so this is me Jason Gregory coming at you I said from the UK with team visionary is golden let's go out there and let's continue to spread the message of carrot bar because we are having a massive impact on people as we're showing people how to exchange their dead fiat currency for gold yeah for tangible asset in gold more and more people need to know about that it is a no brainer whether or not somebody wants to do it from a business point of view or just a savers point of view it is a no brainer so let's go out and have a proper approach so that people can get this message so hopefully it's made sense and i will speak to you fairly soon take care more hints and tips on how to generate more leads online for your business go to www.jasonsnetworkmarketingtruth.com forward slash frustrated and you'll get even more hints and tips on how you can generate multiple leads for your business on a daily basis so that you can be more attractive so people can actually find you rather than you always hunting people all the time remember guys it's not about how good your product or your service is it's about how good your marketing is so guys go get access to that information learn what it takes to be attractive and go and take your business to a whole new level so well done for getting through this episode and i will be with you with another episode fairly soon take care Bye -bye.